I have something of a long time vision for the transformation not only for myself, but the transformation of our world. And I'm not alone in this. The Christian tradition has been preaching apocalypses for 2,000 years. At a certain point, the map of history gets rolled up and poof, the end of everything. I don't think in those terms, but I do, I think, understand and share something with the millennial idea of the huge change. All of prophecy in the biblical sense cannot be wrong. It is not literal, but there is an intuitive understanding that the human race is moving toward a significant change point. What words you use to talk about that, and whatever philosophy underlies your thinking, I have felt that motion is in progress. It's my sense that we are creating for ourselves a crisis, and we've reached pretty much the limits of that crisis, and things are breaking. People look at it as a disaster. And indeed it is, but if you think of it in terms of personal stuff, nothing happens in life without some kind of crisis. Otherwise, we're very happy to stay exactly where we are until you get pushed hard by some kind of crisis event. It can be dangerous. It can even be fatal. But if it's not, then you have the opportunity to use that to change. Everybody who goes through a crisis of a serious nature experiences that kind of change, the wisdom that comes out of it, the sense of liberation from certain things, and movement into a freer space. The eternal garden idea is that place of transformation. It is quiet and it is meditative. I guess you could find some sadness in it, but I think of it more as an ongoing journey through a lot of places. And you simply are making your journey. And you come to this, you come to that, you come to this, and you come to that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And it simply gets deeper and deeper and deeper. When the piece is performed with insight, the effect of it is for the audience to become quieter and quieter and quieter until it becomes nothing. And they're staring at this space. That's the effect of it. So dark, it seems to me, the movement from some elements of darkness, the transformation of those into something which is pensive at best, or if you want to use the word thoughtful. I don't think of it as dark anymore. It just takes you to a different place. So very literally dreams and music, and all good music, I think, evokes the dream. <laughs>